break out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven.
you sound good tonight. Spirit break out. Spirit break out. It's a cry of our hearts for heaven to come down. Come on, sing it one more time, church. Spirit break out. Break down every wall. Cause I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want a little bit louder now. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. Cause I want more.
There's no place, no place I'd rather be. Sing it again.
an old song that's been on my heart all week and I've been singing it. Is it okay if I sing it tonight? He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all Do you believe that tonight? He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all I need. Can we sing that tonight? He's all. Jesus 
Jesus. You're all we need, Jesus. You're all we need, Jesus. It doesn't matter what the doctors say, you're all we need, Jesus. It doesn't matter what the bill collectors say, you're all we need, Jesus. Everything you need is found in him, is found in him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, worshipers, a steady stream of thanksgiving and praise as unto the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And in your presence, is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven. So all my days on earth I will await yeah. The moment that I see you face to face yeah. Yeah. Cause nothing in this world will satisfy Jesus, Jesus you're the cup that won't run dry Jesus, you're the cup Sing that again. And all our days on earth we will await. The moment that we see Jesus face to face. Because nothing in this world could ever satisfy. I'm going to say that again. Because nothing in this whole world could satisfy. Yeah.
heaven to every born again believer it's heaven to every blood bought son and daughter of the most high God it's heaven to those that are just waiting to hear the sound of the trumpet blow <laughs> it's heaven to those that have tried this whole world and knows that nothing can satisfy but Jesus <laughs> All the things of earth are just sinking sand. Oh, but for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Oh, 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 Jesus, give her a life. Jesus, give her a life. Oh, 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 Jesus. Now, in your own words, out of your own cry of hunger and desperation for the You know, there's a song that says we're not going to sing, and I'll just quote a couple lines. Clear the stage and set the sound and lights ablaze. And part of that says anything that we want more than him is an idol. And I, I felt the Holy Spirit just convict me a little bit earlier as we were singing Set a Fire Down in My Soul because I felt the Lord say, Son, do you want more of me more than you want that thing that's been on your mind? Oh, it's just me he talks to, huh? No, he talks to all of us, right? And so I would ask you, what is that thing that maybe we've set our affection and energy and focus on that thing? The promotion, the open door, the other side of the breakthrough. It might even be a good thing but we've exalted it above a hunger for the things of God. So I would just ask us with the help and the light of the Holy Spirit shining in on our hearts and lives to say like the old saints used to say, not give me a Mercedes, but God search me, search me. If you find any unclean thing in me, oh God, take it out. Lord, give me clean hands and a, and a pure heart. Can we just lift that up to the Lord and say, God, I want you to shine the light of heaven on anything in my life that I've been wanting more than you, that I've been wanting more than the things of God. Begin to ask the Lord that in this moment, and I believe he is going to highlight some things in our life that we need to cast down and lift a hunger for him higher than that thing. Come on, he's talking to us now. He's talking to us now. Speak to us, Lord. Speak. Oh, there it is. 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 There it is, YouTube. There it is, Instagram. There it is, Columbus. Yeah, he's letting you know that thing that has just crept its way in above your hunger for the things of God. Yep, 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 yep. It's conviction. It's conviction. He's highlighting it to you, not to shame you with it, but so with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can make a shift. You can make an adjustment right now and lay on the altar anything we need to lay on the altar that has been taking our attention and focus more than the things of God. Put it on the altar, put him on the altar, put her on the altar, put the worry on the altar. Put the trouble on the altar. Put the ambition on the altar. Put the brokenness on the altar. Put the unforgiveness on the altar of your heart right now. Oh, God. And let a hunger for the things of God rise up in every son and daughter of God. May a hunger for prayer rise up in us once again. May a hunger for intercession to not get up from the floor until we felt something shift in heavenly places. May that overtake us, God. Lord, may a hunger and passion for your word overtake us. Lord, may we get the dust off of every Bible and open it up and let your life-giving word become real to us. Come on, if you want a hunger for the word of God, pray that out right now. 
Increase my hunger for the Word of God. Increase my hunger for the Word of God. And Lord, we declare fresh revelation in your Word is coming. Fresh revelation in your Word is coming. Scriptures that we've read many times, you are giving us new insight. Oh, God, I thank you for fresh visitations as we read your Word. I thank you for a fresh outpouring as we read your Word. I thank you for answers and strategies as we read your holy word. Your word is alive and it's sharper than echo and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Your word is alive and it works when we work it. It works when we work it. So let's open our mouth with a mighty decree. God will fulfill it now, you'll see. His word that you speak, so shall it be. His word that you speak, so shall shall it be. Well, what is his word? He wishes above all things that we be in health and prosper, even as our soul prospers. He has caused us to be the head and not the tail. He's called us to be above and not beneath. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Surely, 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 goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I'll have the privilege and responsibility to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and nothing can separate me from the love of God though I make my bed in hell nothing can separate me from the love of God not mistake not failure not genealogy nothing can separate me from the love of God. Your love is great. Your love is deep. Your love is wide. Your love can reach the rankest sinner or the saint that's grown cold. Your love, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love is giving somebody hope again right now. Your love is giving somebody hope again right now. Your love is giving somebody courage right now. Your love is giving somebody insight and revelation right now. The love of God, how rich and pure. The love of God. Now God, that same love that you have given us, we ask that you would give us a love for souls. Increase our Increase our love for the lost. Oh God, give us a burden. Give us a burden, Lord. Give us a burden. Give us a burden. Give us a burden for souls. Come on, cry it out. Give us a burden for souls. Give us a burden for souls. A burden for souls. A fire shut up in our bones that we just have to share. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus rose from the dead. And Jesus can change your life. Oh. Oh.
is the power of the Lord. Here it comes, here it comes the power of the Lord. Here it comes the power, the power of the Lord. Sweeping in. Here comes the strength of the Lord. Here comes the strength of the Lord. Here it comes. Here comes the strength of the Lord. Here comes the strength of the Lord. Sweeping. Yeah. 
not in any hurry tonight. I'm not in any hurry tonight. You know, these Wednesday nights, people are like, well, you know, worship is so long. The, the worship portion is just so long and we're standing for so long and, you know, people are pacing around and people are jumping and spinning and taking off running. People are kneeling down. People are loud. People are in travail. Well, I don't know if you've ever been in a labor and delivery unit of a hospital or if you've ever been through labor and delivery yourself, but it's not a quick thing. It's not a quiet thing. It's not a comfortable thing. It takes some time. It takes some pushing. It takes some pressing and God is birthing something tonight now th this isn't some chivalrous of tradition you know we say in the church a lot God's birthing something he's giving birth he's giving birth but no there's a reason that that pastor parsley hasn't yet felt the release to come on to this platform because there's something happening in this tabernacle there's something happening to those watching online you're you're right on the precipice you're right on the brink right on the verge of a breakthrough see when death hell and the grave thought it had won and the three-day dead body of the prince of god was laying in that borrowed tomb our pastor says that God sent a big giant OBGYN angel because there was something blocking the birth canal. We know it was that stone, that stone that eventually got rolled away. But at first there was a blockage in the birth canal. There was life that was trying to break forth behind that thing, but there was a blockage. And it took power to remove it. It took power. And that's what's happening when we're in this room and we're spending this absorbent amount of time, according to some, in travail and intercession and prayer because that is how we break through. Our pastor teaches us everything in the kingdom of God is conditional, if and when. If you do this and when you do that, God will do this and God will do that. What does the scripture say? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and then all these things will be added unto you. When Pastor Chris was prophetically speaking about there are some idols in our life, there are things that we really desperately need for God to do for us, but there are some things blocking the birth canal. And for many of us, that's an idol. That's an idol. It could be an idol of entertainment. It could be an idol of a relationship. It could be an idol of our job, our career. Even our own families can become our idols. But when we seek first above all things, above all people, above all problems, above all issues, above all schedules and agendas, seek first his kingdom, then all of those things you've been praying about, all those things you've been interceding about, sowing about, believing for, fasting about, then all those things will be added. So that's what we're doing in this time together as we worship and we praise and we commune and tabernacle in his presence together. We're pushing. We're in the labor and delivery room. We're birthing something forward. And I'm telling you right now, if for nobody else, 
I saw Miss Yolanda Deegan down here with her children, and they're still down there praying and travailing and laying hands on one another. She's preaching at Valor Christian College Chapel tomorrow, and something got birthed in her tonight, and I can't wait for her to deliver it to you tomorrow. And that same breakthrough that happened for her and her children tonight and, and the, that family, it can happen for you. That's right. If you'll just press a little while longer. Huh? I'm sure you, you've seen it in the movies or you've experienced it yourself or you've been in the room and they say, just one more push, just one more and you're so tired and you're so exhausted and you say, I can't do it. I can't do it, I can't do it. And the they're saying, yes, you can. Just one more push. There's life on the other side of this thing. Just one more push. Just one more push will get that blockage out of the birth canal. We just gotta keep seeking. Keep seeking, keep seeking. I don't know about you, but I'm sure glad. I'm sure glad that some people kept seeking for me. I'm sure glad that people weren't in a rush to get out of the presence of God when they were praying for me. I'm sure glad that some people stayed and prayed for Matthew when he didn't know that the car that he was in was gonna get shot at. I'm sure glad that some people stayed and prayed for precious Maui who's had miracle after miracle after miracle in his life. I'm sure glad somebody stayed and prayed for Isabella who got delivered like me of a spirit of suicide. I'm sure glad someone stayed and prayed for Carrie when she wanted to give up on God and throw away that gift he gave her. I'm sure glad somebody stayed and prayed for Amy when she had walked away from church for five years. I'm sure glad somebody stayed and prayed for our pastor when he was stricken with vocal cord cancer. Because it's not just your miracle that's on the other side of that push. But we're here to stand in the gap for somebody else. Our pastor teaches us it's all about the one. It ain't all about us. It ain't all about us. We gotta stand in the gap. We gotta make up the hedge. We have family members that are lost. We have loved ones that are bound. So we're gonna spend just a little more time, a little more time in labor and delivery. And I believe that some things are going to get birth tonight. They're gonna push through and break through that birth canal and you're going to deliver a miracle tonight. Do you believe that? Do you believe that by faith? Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are still a miracle working God. We thank you that you are still in the wonder working business. We thank you God that you never gave up on us. So we're not gonna give up on you. The word that you've given us, the promise that you've given us, the miracle that we know that you birthed on the inside of us, that we by faith have to give birth ourselves by being obedient in these next few moments to do whatever it is that you put on our hearts to do. Whatever your Holy Spirit instructs us to do God we by faith will do it if that's to lift a hand we'll lift it if it's to go pray with a brother or sister we'll do it if it's to kneel down we'll do it if it's to run we'll do it whatever it is God we know that your miracle manifests by what you do when we obey so we will be obedient in this moment we will worship and we will praise and we will bow down and we will give glory because you are the one and the true and the only living God you're holy you're worthy you're righteous you're mighty and we love you we love you we love you for saving us we love you for turning our lives around we love you for supernatural reversal we love you for your miracle wonder working power healing deliverance salvation that's not only taking place in our lives but in the lives of our family our loved ones our classmates our mothers and our fathers we thank you for it god we thank you for it god let your kingdom come and let
Jesus, I worship you. Worship you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are. He's here, but come on, say it. All together. Abba, I belong to you. Abba, I belong to you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome. Come and fill. Fill this room. Holy Spirit, you are holy. that 2023 is the year of agreement agreement yes, is yes. agreement is agreement is agreement is essential so I want you to find somebody to agree with in the good old days we used to call that a prayer partner we used to call that a prayer partner yeah most people don't know that anymore because the church forgot how to pray they forgot how to pray but revival rides on the wings of prayer revival yes. rides on the yes. wings of travail and intercession so everybody finds somebody Everybody find somebody. I don't want anybody left out. Don't want anybody left out. Find somebody. Because our pastor also teaches us, not only is agreement essential, but what you make happen for somebody else, God uh -huh. will make happen for you. When you stand in the gap and make up the hedge for somebody else, God will do it for you. You'll never know when you'll need that prayer partner. You never know when you'll need them. I didn't know I needed my prayer partner when she called me on the phone when I had a gun in my mouth and said, hey, are you okay? I just felt like God put it on my heart to call you and make sure you're okay. That's what happens in moments like this, uh -huh. in moments like this. So if you're comfortable sharing what your need is with that person, you can do that. If not, you can say God knows and he does. But I want you to pray for that person whose hand you hold or whose shoulder you're, ne you're next to. Online, we're believing for you as well. Type in, type in and let us know what you need agreement for, what you need prayer about. We're here to stand and believe with you as well. You're not left out. The anointing is not separated by a screen. It is tangible and it is transferable. The same anointing that's in this room is available to you right where you are. So agree by typing in and letting us know what your need is. So share that with one another and then pray like you want them to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, band. 
We step into agreement and alignment right now with every prayer that lines up with the Word of God. We agree. We attach our faith to our brothers and our sisters, and we are in agreement right now. We agree for the healing. We agree for the open door. We agree for the breakthrough. We agree for the answered prayer. We agree for the spirit of darkness to flee. We agree for demonic oppression to leave. We agree for fear to leave. 2023 is a year of no fear. And we speak to it now and we command it to leave. We come against anxiety, anxiousness, losing sleep at night, worry, cold sweats at night because we wake up and we're worried, uneasiness in our spirit. We rebuke that and we declare peace coming in where there was worry. Peace because our trust in the word of the Lord is increasing. We agree, we agree together on the word of the Lord. We agree that it's going to be what the good book says. We agree that the word of God is right and they are wrong. We agree that the word of God is right and the sickness is wrong. We agree that the word of God is right and disease is wrong according to the word of the Lord. We agree for breakthrough. I felt something shift right there. I felt something shift right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We agree. We agree. Lord, let it be done. Let it be established. Let it be established. Let everything be established in agreement in the mouth of two or three witnesses. God, we agree. We agree. We agree with you watching online. We agree with you in Kansas. We agree with you in Indiana. We agree with you in Tennessee. We agree with you in London. We agree with you in Paris. We agree with you in Pakistan. We agree with you wherever you're joining us from. This is a faith-filled house with 40 plus years of legacy of answered prayers. And we are standing in agreement with you right now that the word of the Lord shall come to pass. Type in, we agree. In this room, keep on shouting until you feel it shift. Until you feel like you've birthed something in the Holy Ghost. I tell you what, we're doing kingdom business right now. We're doing kingdom business right now. God's doing it for the band as you play unto the Lord. He's doing it for the front line. He's doing it for those behind the fire aisle. And he's doing it all the way up here to the altar. He's doing it now as we agree. As we agree. As we agree. As we agree. Yay! 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 Oh, I hear an army rising up. I hear an army rising up. I hear an army rising up. establishing on what we just agreed. Shift that petition into a praise. Hallelujah, it is done. Hallelujah, it is so. Hallelujah, it is so. Hallelujah, I'm going to see it. Hallelujah, I'm going to see it. What you read about, what you heard about, what you've seen him do before. He's doing it again, he's doing it again, he's doing it again, he's doing it again. Hey! Come on, there's 
another praise in there. We're doing pretty good, but there's another praise in there. There's another praise in there. Oh, if we lavishly bless the Lord, something is happening in your favor. Something is being birthed in the earth as we praise unto the Lord. Yep, just stay right there for a minute, man. Yep, 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 doing good. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yes. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wow, God. Hey. Sing, oh barren one. You won't be barren for long in this kind of atmosphere. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Lift up another roar! Yep, sustain that, sustain that. My, 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 great God. Oh! Yay! Sustain that right there, sustain that right there, sustain that right there. seconds right there and we're going to take it out with a celebration. online that have tuned in for the first time and they thought well I don't know about all that try it baby try Jesus you tried drugs try Jesus you tried sex try Jesus you tried alcohol try Jesus you tried a false religion try Jesus you tried a different lifestyle try Jesus you tried to get it from a man try Jesus you tried to get it from a woman try Jesus you tried to get it from an old dead dried up Church, try Jesus! Try it! You like it! You like it! You like it! In fact, you love it! You love it! You love it! When you can face down every demon and every trial that hell in this life has to offer and still say, Jesus is Lord! You love it! 
And all my life you have been so, so good, yeah. With every breath that I am in, what do you say? I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have, come on, lift it up. Because all my life you have been free.
tonight Said it's over and done But what that old devil didn't realize Was that the battle had just begun Because on the third day The angel said tell Jesus is alive and well He got up He got up He got up You see this right here? <laughs> this is not the norm. You see this right here? Come on, Valor students, every one of you, don't back up. This is not the norm. <laughs> Do you realize how good you and we have it? Freedom in Jesus. This right here, the world has such an ugly grip on this generation. The world and Satan have such an ugly grip on our babies. But this right here, this right here, this right here. Jesus, oh my God, Woo! this right here is not the door. We need our church brothers, we 
being in our church fathers to show the way, to lead the path so these kids can see what a real relationship with Jesus Christ is. Miss Barb, I need some of our church mamas. I need our church mamas. Come on, you know who you are, our church daddies. Somebody help them up here. Somebody help them up here. Come on. We're going to show you what an old time relationship with the King of Kings is. <laughs> Woo! If you are a church mama or a church papa, we need you. No, oh, no, no, come up here. Come on, baby. Come on, mamas. Come on, papas, right here. Show this generation that hell, that hell will let go of that grip. This is the upcoming generation. And hell cannot have you. Hell cannot have you. Hell will not have you. Come on, mamas, show them how. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we take authority, God, over every spirit that will come against these precious children, God, against the vow of cottage, God. I rebuke you, Satan, I declare, decree, you have no power, you have no authority over these young people, God. The kingdoms come and your will be done, God, in the lives of these young people. God, all the power that they need comes from you. All the strength that they need comes from you, God. You are their shelter of love. You are their fortress of faith, God. And we bless them with your reverend presence. God, we decree and declare that they shall prosper in everything that they set their hands to. students to come up here if you consider yourself full of the Holy Ghost I want you to pray over these church mamas and they're going to pray over you when you lay their hands when they lay their hands on you there's going to be a transformation like never before Transfer in the name of Jesus. A transfer for a burden to pray. A transfer to live a set apart and holy life. A transfer for a hunger of the things of God. A transfer for holy and set apart living that results in a lifestyle of power and purity and holiness. In the name of Jesus, you're joining us online right now. You are not left out of what God is doing in this house. If you'll throw up your hands and say, God, I want increase. I want more anointing. I want a burden for souls. I want more discernment. I want an increase in holy living. God is baptizing you right now with a fresh anointing that is going to blow your natural mind. As you lift up hunger and heaven comes right where you are. We declare right now that generational curses are being broken in the name of Jesus. Appetites that were not of God are falling to the ground. Your past is not a concern to God. Your future is so bright. You need sunglasses. We declare that God is birthing in you a hunger like you've never known before. Okay. All right. Where's our babies? 
Where's our babies? If you are 12 years old and under, why don't you quickly run up here? Quickly, quickly run up here. 12 years old and under, you get smack in the middle of that thing. You, you are not left. This is the next generation after these Valor kids. Get right in the middle. And we're gonna pray in chains of the enemy that so tightly gripped our babies. It's gonna fall off and it will never again oh, be man, able to good, touch them. Good. Get them right in the middle. Right in that these babies right in the middle. And we're gonna pray. We're gonna plead the blood. We're gonna dispatch the angels of heaven to be over these babies. Come on, all of you right in the middle. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Jesus, Jesus. All right, everybody out there, in the, on the count of three, I want you to, to pray in your heavenly language. If you have a heavenly language, I want you to either come up here on the stairs and up at the altar, or I want you to stretch your hands. And with everything in your being, every ounce of your body, I want you to pray over these babies. In the name of Jesus, ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Shapokosha, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Come on, you're praying in the Holy Ghost, that spirit speaking to spirit. This is spirit speaking to spirit. And we're spirit blocking some things in the Holy Ghost right now that the devil would like to send on our children. Oh, but not today, devil. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Yeah. Come on, children, cry out for more of God. Just cry out for more of God. Throw up those hands. Come on, throw up those hands and cry out for more of God. He's touching you now. Yeah, come on, Valor. Come on, Valor. Come on, elders. Come on, saints. Put a, put a desire in their heart, Father, that grows with every passing breath, that every breath that they breathe, they want you and more of you and nothing less than you. God placed inside of them. God, everything we activate, everything that needs to be activated in these children right now in this season to testify of the goodness of God. You're not too young, David. You're not too young. That's right, that's right, Get that that's right. sling up and throw it at the giant. Get that sling up. Get your hand up. We're calling you David. Get that sling going. We're going to kill some giants tonight. We're going to kill some giants. Get your sling going, babies. Get your sling going, babies. Here we go. You ready? You ready? On the count of three, we're going to throw the rock. And it's going to hit Goliath square in the eye. One, two, Some of you are saying, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. It's actually the fulfillment of a word that was given to Dr. Lester Summerall many years ago. He was in a hotel room in Brasilia, Brazil, and he said, God, what will be my end? God said, look at Psalm 71, 18. He turned to Psalm 71, 18. He didn't know that he ever read that before in his life. And it said, God, when I am old and gray-headed, let me show my strength to this generation and your power to everyone who will come. My brother and sister, Dr. Lester Summerall is in the direct genealogy of this ministry and what you see happening here 
is a transfer from one generation to another generation to another generation so that the power of God and the strength of God and the glory of God would not be forgotten, but it would be sustained in every generation. Somebody lift up your voice and praise him in this house. comes the glory of the Lord. Prophetic word that was spoken. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Here comes the glory. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Sweeping in. Sweeping in. One more time on this platform. All across this tabernacle. Lift it up. Here comes the glory of the weightiness and goodness of the Lord. Here comes the glory of the Lord. We receive it now, Father. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Sweeping in the room. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? All right, you up here, you're going to make your way back to your seats. Some of you ushers and elders. Help some of our gray-haired saints back to their seats. You Valor students, you help as well. Yeah. Sweeping in the room. Here comes the power of the love. Here comes the power of the thank God for what's happened in this room but before we move on I have to be obedient I have to be obedient thank you to to Miss Yolanda to Pastor Chris to Miss Carrie to our church mothers and fathers who were obedient to the moving of the Spirit of God in that moment I've been waiting to do this for weeks for weeks and weeks and weeks I've even called a couple of you up here a couple times just never quite got around to it but God's timing is always perfect. His timing is always perfect. And, and when this all happened, that transference of generational anointings, and then when Elder Canfield so beautifully spoke about that, that word that was given to Dr. Lester Sumrall, and then spoke about the spiritual genealogy and DNA that's in this house, Dr. Lester Sumrall is Pastor Parsley, our spiritual father's father. Dr. Lester Summerall is my, our spiritual grandfather. And we often talk about, especially at Valor, we talk about the legacy of Howard Carter, Smith Wigglesworth, Dr. Lester Summerall, Dr. Rod Parsley. But so often left out, but no less important, is my grandmother's anointing. the matriarch of this house that's now gone on to her heavenly reward, Mama P, Mrs. Ellen Parsley. She's responsible for getting people like Cameron Fontana here and Miss Carrie and so many others. And many of you remember her. Many of you were here while she was living. Many of you worked alongside her, traveled with her, were under that 
covering of her ministry, people like Miss Megan, Miss Katie, her, her parents. and You can be seated if you want to be seated. That's, that's totally fine. But many of you didn't get to experience her, and she could only be experienced. She could not be explained. <laughs> she could only be experienced. And one of, uh, as honored as I am always, when, when people say to me or to any member of our family, oh, you have your father's anointing, and, and I do. I claim that, and I do possess it, and I'm thankful for it. But when people say, you looked like your grandma out there today. You sounded like your mama out there. That's something different. It's something entirely other. There's my mama. I'm, I'm telling you what. You think Pastor Parsley's bold. The acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. She was otherworldly bold. <laughs> she would get so in a vacuum, and I'm talking care less what you thought and dare you to say anything to her about it. She was wholly, fully sold out to God and God alone. God and God alone. She did whatever he told her, whenever he told her, however he told her, and didn't care who she offended, whose toes she stepped on, and often physically mine. <laughs> if you ever got hands laid on by her, it was a force. I think I still have a ring imprint on my hand somewhere. She'd kick people in the stomachs. I mean, she, bold, bold, powerful anointed to shake hell. You know, when people describe certain anointings and certain people and they say they were known in heaven, but they were also known in hell. And when Ellen Parsley's feet hit the floor, hell knew it. Hell knew it. And I've watched the three of you Wonderful world changers. I've watched you serve. And I've watched your worship. I've watched your praise. I've watched you push. When no one else knew what you were struggling with, when no one else knew how the enemy was fighting you and attacking you, I saw it. God saw it. And he took notice. And he apprehended this entire service for you because of your faithfulness. The faithful, the word says, they shall see God. The meek, the humble, the lowly, those that put others before themselves, they shall see God and they shall inherit the kingdom. And not only is that true for you tonight, and that generational and transference of anointing corporately was incredible, and we all receive that, but there's a special, special generational transfer for the three of you tonight. And that's the anointing of Mother Parsley. So I'm going to ask Pastor to come. I'm going to ask Pastor to come. If you would, church, stretch your hands this way. For those of you that aren't familiar, we call this the spot. This is the spot where Dr. Lester Sumrall symbolically gave a sword to my parents my biological parents and spiritual parents in the natural, and that sword represented the transfer of anointing. And that's what's happening tonight, a transfer of a generational anointing 
but in particular, that mother parsley anointing, because see, what the enemy means for evil, God always turns it for your good. And the enemy saw your, your meekness and your humility and, and your quietness and your under the radarness. And he wished to pervert that, to, to keep you scared and fearful and afraid to operate fully and wholly in that anointing, to step out in boldness, with power, with fire, with courage. But tonight, that all changes. And you might say, well, well, why are you transferring a, a female anointing onto a young man? It's not a feminine anointing. Anointing, know the... anointing, anointing knows no gender. It just knows a vessel. Anointing knows it's no respecter of persons. It just knows the vessel. And you've proven yourselves worthy not only to receive this anointing, but serious enough about the call to carry it. Because many people have received an anointing, they, but they haven't had they, the maturity they, to carry it. But you have that. You have that. You've proven that. So I'm going to ask pastor to pray and the church to stretch their hands. There it is. Go ahead. Fish at the Angora. Melalus, head on the door, Rosta. Bonda Eurus, Debon Candy. Rotel Alomosata. And again, the grace she bonda in the labu sada. In the garabu randa se da garabu pa. Eva de ista rano mo pa. Eva da kingwa ka kisa da rano mo. Kala da mamu se de la da mo kaba. Eva da mo se ke de ke se ke 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 kolo da mo. Sa da imbro se ma ma ter. In the name of Jesus, come on, come on! In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, it's not a light thing. This three generations, this three generations. Ete na ba hi ba ho sande kalupuka, ajegenge bo singarabuka. Rush de Bumbru, Randa, Buru, Tiki, Ilia, Mutsa, Matri, Eja, Eja, Go, Sate, Bura, Mante, Kavahu, De, Ibis, Ete, Lo, Rush de Kedidiandu, Brada, Brada, Lo, Sana, Ediandor, Ning, 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 this is how world changes are made. This is how world changes are made. He came to come to Numbamba Sea. Kajedar wrote the Geromo Sebaba. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you! Bless you! Bless 
Help them up. Help them up. Eshata lubu shabambu. Vetala makata. Now then, think it not strange that I have called you out, as has been done this night by my spirit, says God. For I have seen, and I promised you. What you did in secret, I would reward. I have held a choice anointing for you. And not only shall the anointing of Mother Parsley come upon you, but the anointing, says God, of her father. The anointing of a no shape note singer with perfect pitch and recognizing every harmony part of every note yes, God. Yes, God. without the aid of any instrument. So is your heart attuned to me, says the Lord. And so shall you walk in the renewal of a former anointing which is multiplied many times over and you will reach many more than he did riding on horseback from church to church. It's on you, says God. It's on you. Well, bless the Lord. Well, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord and His mighty Son. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Uh, and now my spirit goes to my wife, watching now and says to you, you are not forgotten. You are sheltered. You are not left out. 
you're at the head of the line. The only woman to have received that anointing from Brother Sumrall directly. I've heard you says, God, so shall it be. Walk proudly, walk boldly, without hesitation or interference. For I have kept you sheltered from many who would have done you harm. For you are mine, and I place that anointing in you, says the Most High God, and let hell try to remove it. For I am God, and besides me there is no God. Know this, know it for sure. Never question it again. It is mine and you are mine. And I have welded those two together and no one can separate it, says the living Christ. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. And I say to my son, my only son, you have a place in this place. Seek no other. I placed you here and great will be the increase of my kingdom as a result of what I placed in your hand to do. So do it and have great joy, says yes, God. Yes, yes. I carved out a place for you before you were born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are mine. I am in you. Great will be the increase, says the Almighty. <laughs> Ora rotto che la baba posa ti 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 lo bagna ne 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 I lose the spirit of prophecy I lose the spirit of tongues I lose the spirit of interpretation I lose the spirit of healing and miracles I lose the word of wisdom the word of knowledge discerning of spirits and wonder working faith i am god and i release it to you now step in step in leap in leap in jump in jump in rejoice and receive rejoice and receive and receive for I give only good gifts I give only good gifts I give liberally I give to all who ask I give to all who seek I give and you shall find pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up here's a new anointing just for you. You're about to break loose from the bondage of your own mind. You're about to break free from the limitation of your own expectation, says God. I release liberty, 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 liberty unto you. in the Lord always and again I say again I say rejoice in the 
seated you may be seated bless the Lord bless the Lord hallelujah bless it you might as well get ready some of you are gonna be up all night just praising him and worshiping him. And don't worry about your strength for your day tomorrow says God for I am your strength and my joy is your substance hallelujah well now well now, well now, well now, well now, well now, well now. We, 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 we have come to a precipice. Uh, we've come to <clears throat> um, another step. Uh, he is making your enemies your footstool. I hate to be trite, but tonight you have gone to a whole other level. And you have done it because he has made your enemies your footstool. Little precious girl was at my house today, Amy's granddaughter. And uh, she's at my house today and she was real happy because she had done what she needed to do on the facility. And, and she, she calls me grandpa. I'm not her grandpa, but and I wouldn't assume to be so, but she calls me grandpa because I'm old looking, I guess. She said, she said, Grandpa, bring me a stool. So I took her a stool. She wanted a stool. How old is she? Three. She, she wanted a stool. And she said, put it right there, Grandpa. Because she wanted to get up high enough to wash her hands in the sink. And so I put her a stool up. And in that moment, when she put her little foot up there, I, I heard God. He said, that's what I'm going to do tonight. be real good if you just point down there and say, you enjoying that? You enjoying that devil? You enjoying that demon power? I was walking around over here a while ago, the lady grabbed a hold of me. She said, something happened when we were praying for each other. She said, I, and she's a precious woman. She's been in this church forever. And she's not a person, you know, that would say something like this lightly. She said, pastor, I, I barely got here tonight. I wanted to take my life so badly. And she said, but when we agreed together, she said, everything lifted off of me. The Holy Ghost, be seated, please. The Holy Ghost. Now, now look. Now I know you look around at empty seats, and I know that plays with your head. 
There are more people in this room tonight than 90% of the churches in America will have on Sunday morning. So, so don't let that bother you. Don't let that bother you. Uh, and I, I salute you for being here. No, I'm, I'm not playing. And often God calls the crowd because he has a specific thing that he wants to get done. You know, when Jesus walked up to the house of Jairus' daughter, he said, uh, now, uh, we don't have the right people in the room. Y- y'all here, you need to g- go on out the way. So don't, don't, don't worry about that. The cloud is here tonight. The crowd will follow. Believe me, I've been through this three or four times. In 47 years, you go through a lot of things. We are on, and God, the Holy Ghost said to me, you just stay out of the way tonight. Well, I said, I could stay home. That'd be really good. I could just lay on the couch. And then he reminded me of what I said Sunday morning, that distance produces fatal distraction. So I said, well, I better go. I better sit on the front row because that's where I belong. And if you want me to stay out of the way, I'll stay out of the way. And I did at, at his direction until the Holy Ghost through Ashton Blair called me over. Uh, otherwise, I, w- I would not have. Uh, but God did a very significant thing tonight. Now, let me tell you where we are. A few weeks ago, we had an outpouring of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And I have felt God dealing very specifically with me uh, about these nights, about these nights. And uh, I'm doing another thing on Sunday night, but I feel like I'm going to need to start putting a little bit of teaching. Now, I don't mean an epic message, because what we just did is the most important thing. All right, but I need to come behind that and I need to put a little dose in you that will keep you moving forward in this atmosphere. So the atmosphere must not change, you understand? And that is largely the responsibility of two things. Number one, that everybody comes in in that attitude. Everybody comes in, we're here to worship the living God. Because if you think he's getting enough worship with Pentecostal churches doing these little ditty songs for 12 minutes and a click track in their ear, that's not what he's after. He's after hearts pouring out to him. He's after pure worship. He's after pure praise. So that's very important on these nights. But I feel like I'm going to come in behind it beginning next week and I'm going to I'm going to put a little I'm going to put a little progressive word on it. So we we had a baptism in the Holy Ghost and and what the spirit of the Lord is saying to me, you need to take them the next step. Now for those of you that don't know, the next step after the baptism in the Holy Ghost is twofold. Number 1, you receive power to be witnesses. And it it starts this way. Jerusalem, that's your house. Judea, that's your family. Samaria, that's your neighborhood. And then the uttermost parts of the earth. So that's number one. And that's happening. I could give you stories. Where's Alexa? Stand up, Alexa. Lovely Alexa. She's very gifted. And... She does a great job in uh, City Harvest Network working with Bishop Amos, who is over at our Elkhart campus tonight. But she was driving through Wendy's. Just Wendy's, wasn't it? McDonald's, same thing. <laughs> same thing. Heart attack in a paper sack. Anyway, she was driving through there. And the Holy Ghost spoke to her to be nice. and You know, and before you know it, She's praying the sinner's prayer. Was it a lady? 
It was a man. She, she led a gentleman at the drive through window to Jesus. Now, she didn't intend to do that, but you see the Holy Ghost, that's what he does. He, he just does it. Now don't worry and don't freak out. And don't try to force things and don't, God's just opening that kind of thing. Thank you, Alex. He's just opening that kind of thing. But that's what we're doing on Sunday night. But now the second thing is the baptism in the Holy Ghost. The baptism, I'm gonna miss you so badly, but I understand. She's about to graduate one of our first bachelor's degree program graduates at Valor Christian College. And we are praying for her pastor, uh, Bishop Brian Bolt, who will be here next Friday uh, for a meeting with me. But he's in what place in Mexico? Acuna. Uh, Acuna. Acuna, Mexico. And he said that God gave them so much food to give away, they can't even find enough people to give it to. I never saw anything like it. And they're having great crusades. They're winning many thousands to Jesus. And, uh, but the next step, this is so important. This is so important. The next step is the baptism in the Holy Spirit is a doorway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it is a doorway into the gifts of the Spirit which most people never operate in. Now the book said, if you got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you should be operating in the gifts. You should be operating in the gifts. And the book says that he divided to every man, severally. Now some say that means separately, but it can also mean several. He divides to every man several gifts of the Holy Ghost. Now, Elder Ken Field here, he and I have both been around here long enough that we remember a gentleman that used to sit right over here and the tambourines were symbolic tonight because he played the tambourine in every service for 30 years. And, and uh, he was our third elder, second elder, second elder ever in this church. And he would document how many different manifestations of the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost that were in operation in one service. And there were several services where eight of the nine gifts were in manifestation in that one service in this church. But now the church was smaller then. And it seems that the gifts of the Spirit during a service seem to be more limited because of size and scope. You understand? So, but I just believe that that's coming back. Amen. See, I believe that's coming back. Uh, now, those are the nine gifts of the Spirit. Those are found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. But then in the book of Romans, there are five other gifts of the Spirit. Now, 90% of Christians don't know anything about the nine gifts of the Spirit. Tongues, interpretation of tongues, prophecy, the word, wisdom, word, knowledge, discerning spirits, wonder, working faith, working of miracles, the gifts of healing. There's nine. Right? Okay, but most don't know anything about those, but even less know anything about those other five gifts. Those are called motivational gifts or motive gifts. Gifts of the Holy Spirit that God places in you that motivate you towards certain things. You're motivated by them. Amen? I'll tell you what they are, but you can look in the book of Romans and find them yourself. And then there's another set of gifts that are in Ephesians chapter 4. You, you'll recognize them by name 
but do you know what they are? Somebody said to me the other day, I'm a prophetess. I said, really? Who set you in that office? Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Things like you, you can be a teacher and not a pastor, but you can't be a pastor and not a teacher. There's a lot to learn. But many of you are right now at the doorway. Some of you preacher boys and girls. There's more than preaching. And this afternoon when I was praying, the Holy Ghost said to me, and I wrote it down, tell them there's a lot more. Don't stop where you are. You're not even started. You're not even started. Wait till the Holy Ghost of God grabs a hold of you and tells you something about your children. Sometimes you're like, yeah, and other times you're like, oh, no. Right? Who wants to learn how to operate in all the gifts of the Spirit? Well, I'm just the guy to teach you. I've been around long enough. Hallelujah. I'll give you one good strong lesson right now. This is for a lot of you Bible college students. I don't even know if they teach. Are they teaching the gifts of the Holy Ghost in my Bible college? Huh? I had two people say yes. They must not be teaching it very long or very strong. The revival is coming on two wings. Salvation and the gifts of the Holy Ghost. It's not coming on your music program. No, no offense. You understand? Manifestations of the Holy Ghost. And God worked with them. Confirming. His word with signs follow. All these tick tock, wick walk, be bock preachers. They got a lot of followers, but they got no gifts. They got a lot of words, but they don't have any manifestation. If you have the word and no manifestation, you have dead religion. I don't care how you dress it up. But if you have manifestation not based in the word, then you, then you have vain emotionalism, which is 90% of the worship in churches today. It's emotionalism. It's not based in truth. Amen. I said amen. amen. Well, I'm going to dive into it, Elder. So you guys are going to have to worship a little faster. No. Amen. Do you want to learn? What about y'all? Do you want to learn? Type in, I want to learn. What we're going to learn right now is that one of the gifts, literal gifts of the Spirit is generosity or giving. God raises up people with the gift to give. This church wouldn't be here without about 10 people that God has raised up to be paymasters. I mean, somebody's got to write a $100,000 check. You can't, you can't do what God calls us to do on $10 checks alone. Somebody's got to write a $250,000 check. Somebody's got to write a million dollar check. Might as well be you. Well, I don't have that gift. You should say yet. I don't have that gift yet. How many of you believe you could lose everything you've got in a day? Well, then how come you don't believe God to double it in a day? 
Oh, got quiet, didn't it? See, we got more faith in losing than we do winning. We got more faith in the devil than we do God. Amen. God, my God can do anything. We're going to receive the offering right now. I hope those of you online are ready. We love you very much. Wouldn't be here without you. Wouldn't be there for you without you. So participate tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody say Isaiah 43, 19. Somebody tell me what it says. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Amen. Some of you ought to sow a gift of $43.19. Some of you ought to sow $430.19. Some of you ought to sow $20. Some of you ought to sow $100. But none of you should sow nothing. Because nothing times nothing equals more nothing. So get a gift in your hand. Those of you watching online, the information's right there. Hallelujah. Father, bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I said amen. amen. If you're giving all the information's up there. It is right now, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. I hope you're still breathing. Hallelujah. What kind of church would have people this many sitting in church at 920 on a Wednesday night? Huh? It's revival night. And, you know, if, God, if God's finished at 715, we'll quit. I just rarely see him finish that quick. He's always trying so hard to bless you. Amen. If he could just keep your attention for a little while. I want to celebrate while they're continuing to receive the offering. Those of you online continue your giving. I want to celebrate Miss Katie and the, and the local church team and Kid Harvest Clubhouse. And here's why. Here, stand up, Miss Katie. And here's why. They just, I, I cut their budget for Easter. I mean, they had something. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, cut, cut, cut. And Miss Katie, now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, she struggled for about 15 minutes. She, she was like she choking back the tears, you know. And we said, God's gonna give you an idea and it's gonna be better than that. And he did, and she built a, like a walk through the Bible thing out there out of paper mache and popsicle sticks. There, there's some of it. Anyway, so she did it sometime during Easter. But then Miss Ashton said, now look, that thing, we need to use that again. We got a lot of children that need Jesus, a lot of children. So we did it again last Sunday night. And then Miss Katie said, well, how about we take it into HPS? So today she took fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, fourth and fifth grades from Harvest Preparatory School, she took them through the, what is it called? Well, it was, I don't even know. Whatever, we journey the through name. the Bible, journey whatever. Journey through the Bible. The cool the stuff in the Hall of Faith. Yes. <laughs> and, and of course, Mr. Mills is my nephew and has to do what I say. So he's texting Ashton right now, right now. Anyway, and so they went out in the fourth and fifth grades and real big, yes. tell how many children this morning prayed the sinner's prayer in the fourth and fifth grade? 112. And it's happening again tomorrow. Right. It's We're going to do everybody. Tomorrow. Yes, sir. Tomorrow it will be the third graders and the second graders. And then on Friday, the first graders and the kindergartners. Amen. Okay. Father, you've already blessed them, and I thank you. 
And I do pray, Lord, that you just multiply their sleep tonight, multiply their rest, bless their children to be wiser than the children that were not in church tonight because they were in church. In Jesus' name, we love you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you when? Huh? Sunday? Tomorrow right. morning for Well, tomorrow morning, tomorrow chapel. you can tune in for, for Miss Yolanda Deegan and Valor Christian College Chapel. Love you. Good night. Sowing into the kingdom of God has never been easier or more secure than with smart giving. Any smartphone will work to use your smart giving, open your text messaging app, and send a message to number 45777. In the message of your text, type the amount of your gift, space WHC. If it's your first time giving, you'll receive a secure link to set up your account. Select your home campus, enter your giving method, and where you would like to receive your instant giving receipt. If you already registered, the process is the same. Just send a text message to 45777. Type the amount of your gift, space WHC. You'll receive your receipt immediately. If you prefer, you can also sew online at whc.life or by phone or mail. Just call the number on your screen or send your gift to the address displayed.
born in sin and clothed in death, mercy was my plea. And love compelled the heart of God to send grace down to me. Lost in sin, a wretched soul, desperate to be free. Oh, precious one, God's holy son, grace went to Calvary. Ah, grace, ah, grace, powerful grace, grace that restores and rescues me. Grace, powerful grace, I sing the song of the reed. 